Hi, I'm Clay Webb, and I'm the Head of Risk Management and Training for Victoria. Today, I'm going to show you how to do your own backyard or in-house tarp setup so you can hone skills from home for your next adventure. You have two kinds of tarps usually. You'll have kind of a built-in little loop like this, or you'll have these metal grommets. But these metal grommets are not very strong, so if you're using this kind of tarp, you can use the clove hitch. That will also work if you're at home and you don't have a tarp, you could use something like a bed sheet using a clove hitch and a small rock. And that would work perfectly with a sheet to be able to make a tarp setup. So for the clove hitch, you're going to take your cord or your rope and you're going to make two loops and they need to be in the same direction where it's on top and pointing this way. So the easiest way I think of that is if I have my hands and then it's just like I'm closing a book. Two loops and then you're going to stack them. The front loop is going to go on top and the back loop is going to go on the bottom. And then when you pull that tight, that will be your clove hitch. So what you can do is take a rock, a little rock, put it in the corner and you're going to make that. And then you're going to put the clove hitch over top of this and it's going to hold it tight. So it will look like this, like I'm closing the book. There's my clove hitch. I place the rock in place, the clove hitch, and then I tighten it around. You can see that's holding place like that. And now that's going to be much stronger in the wind or anything like that than the normal grommet. What we have here is a nice A-frame style, nice and simple. The two slanted sides keep us dry overnight. It's a nice and low setup because we'll be sleeping under it. Now I'm all ready for a night out in the backyard. Hello all, Timaeus here again, checking in from North Vancouver, your friendly program facilitator. Today we'll be working on one tarp and one knot. The knot we'll be working on is called the bowline. Now the bowline, the word bowline stems from a boating term in which the first part of the word bow or bow refers to the front of your boat and the last part of the word line is a fancy boating term for rope. So the bowline knot was used to tie the front of your boat or bow off to a dock. In this case, however, we'll be using the bowline to tie off our tarp. Let's dive in. So the bowline is used to tie around something, so we're going to tie around this black pole. So we have our end of the rope, and we're tying around the pole. And now we have a short end of the rope, an arc, and a long end of the rope. So on the long end of the rope, we're going to make a loop to the inside of the arc. So there's our loop to the inside, and now we're going to twist this loop towards us, and that's going to create a closed circle. So we twist towards us. And now we have a loop, or a hole. We have our bunny, and we have this tree. This is the long end. So this bunny is going to go up through the hole. So it's coming up through the hole. It's going to go around the tree, so it comes around the tree, and then it's going to come back down through the hole. So it comes down through the hole. And now we pull on these two ends, the bunny and the tree, and that'll tighten it up. And there you have your bow on. As we take our knowledge of the bowline knot, we'll now apply that to a tarp I like to call the max cover tarp. The key to this tarp is height. The higher the tarp, the greater cover on the ground you have. In this case, we're covering my bike, but this can be used to, for example, cover a picnic table. The first step I like to do is lay the tarp over the object I want to cover, and this helps align the tarp. 
The second step is to raise the tarp up. So as you can see, I've already pre-tied my bow lines to the four corners of this tarp. And now I will raise the tarp up with the ropes attached to each of the four corners. And there you have the Max Cover Tarp. Thanks for tuning in.